Someone asked me the other day, Les, how do I start changing the way I think about things? Um, to answer that question, I want to use an example from work. So at my job, I work for Southeast Toyota and there are quite a few different buildings you can work in and you can do like, you can work in the warehouse where you drive a forklift and you, you know, receive and order parts and things like that. Uh, you can also join shops where you install running boards or you can join shops where you install wheels and tires. You can cross train and join shops where you, you know, put gas in the cars and drive the cars and there's just so many different areas um, and there's so many different places you can learn, uh, learn skills and then go in and help that team. But here's the thing, the more skills that you learn, the more valuable you become in the kingdom of Southeast Toyota. And much in the same way, uh, there are many things in life that require wisdom and uh, skills for practical living in, in this world, whether it's wisdom and skills regarding finances or relationships or, you know, just being emotionally intelligent or uh, how to communicate with people, how to present things publicly, how to, how to you know, there's just, it's endless. The, the, the amount of life skills that if you're willing to learn and be trained and go through the, the process of learning and growing and learning how to apply those skills, then um, you're going you're gonna to become more valuable in life to, to your own development, to the people around you, and in a religious realm into the kingdom of God, uh, things like that, because you're able to um, sharpen and um, master, not master your gifts, but I don't want to say master your gifts, but in a sense, yeah, like you sharpen your gifts so that you can use them more effectively in the world to serve and help people. So, um, just a practical way of changing the way I think about things. Um, so using that example, I know how to drive a forklift. I've, I've been trained. I've been, I've spent years on a forklift. I've operated that machine, that machine a million gazillion times, but I don't always need a forklift. Like I don't in my, you know, in my day to day life, most of the time I don't need a forklift. It's just not something that I, I use a skill that I need all the time, but I do need it. And there are times when I'm at work, and I see that there's a need and sometimes there's no one else that can do it. And I say, hey, you know what? I've, I've, in the past, I've developed that skill so I can help out right here. And so for that moment, I reach back in my memory and I, I, I draw from the experience and the wisdom and the, the training that I've had. And for that moment, I engage and apply that wisdom. Therefore, I hop on the forklift. I use my skills in that moment to help and serve the people that need it in the time being, and then I'm right back to doing something else. So, um, and then I have to switch and, and do something else. So the thing is, when it comes to skills with the way you think about things and skills in the way you shift your perspective and being able to shift your perspective, um, you're not going to need to apply the same perspectives and the same uh, skills, mental skills all the time, all the time, basically. So one last example, and I know this video is kind of all over the place, but I hope it makes sense after this. So in the past years ago, I went through a season in my life where I was, I had triggers and, you know, I have some trauma in the past and there would be times where I would get triggered and I don't even know what was triggering me. You know, you don't know until it happens. You start figuring out your triggers it's kind of like figuring out a food allergy you don't know until you eat that food and then you have to backtrack and say oh well, I did eat a carrot which that would have never happened because I don't eat carrots but um, basically then you realize okay that's what triggers me that's what inflames those ang anxious feelings that's what causes this feeling this emotional flare-up of anxiety or fear or whatever so years ago I learned uh, a skill and this is what it's called uh, turning a trigger into a trigger and it's a skill, it's a, it's a mental skill, it's a, and this is what I mean by that. Um, whenever I get triggered, when something triggers me and makes me feel anxious or makes me have a crazy thought or makes me have an emotional thought that's this unhealthy or bad or if I'm starting to get um, just in a, in a down spiral of, of negativity, that's, I'm triggered and I recognize that. So what I've done is years ago I learned to turn that trigger into another trigger 
of gratitude. So here's how this plays out in my life. And I don't use this skill all the time, um, but here's what happens. If I'm going about my day and I get triggered and I have a just a triggering event that causes me to mentally and emotionally kind of get, get off, off track, I let that trigger me to start praising God and thanking God for good things in my life. So it becomes a good thing because there are many times I forget to thank God for all the great things in my life and all the wonderful things that I have and all the good that's going for me, all the blessings. Um, but I've kind of trained my brain to, to learn that, hey, whenever I get triggered and want to start getting negative, that's a trigger for me to start praising God. So, hey, I start feeling anxious. I start feeling afraid. I start feeling unthankful for things. I say, hey, oh, this is perfect time for me to say, God, thank you so much for my wife. Thank you for my family. Thank you for my shoes. Thank you for my AC. Thank you for my friends like Robbie Johnson who, who fixed my van. Thank you for uh, friends like Logan May that's going to send me money just because he feels led to do it. You know, thank you for um, just just thank you, thank you, thank you. And and look, what happens is you start you start turning your your triggers into into uh, times of growth and times of appreciation and then you're you're you if you can think yourself into a bad mood and you can think yourself back into a good mood and so but that's a skill and i'm not boasting in myself by no means because the lord knows i uh i got a lot to learn about a lot of things i don't know much about much but when it comes to retraining your brain you have to kind of uh, learn some skills and then become intentional about applying those skills um and, and, and using those skills when they are needed. Much like, you know, I don't always have to go around, I don't always go around thanking God for everything I have in my life. I don't always go around driving a forklift, but when I get triggered and I need to drive the forklift and someone says, hey, and I get triggered and realize, oh, I need, someone needs help with the forklift, then that triggers me to say, I can do it because I have that skill. In the same way, when I get triggered mentally and emotionally, start having these negative thoughts, I turn that trigger into another trigger to praise and thank God and, and practice gratitude. So it's just a skill um, that you can start trying out. Uh, you're not going to master that at first. And then what happens is your brain have uh, has a way of having an automatic flow of thoughts. So an event happens and then it's like, it, you know, you have an automatic flow of thoughts and they call these and, and when they're negative they're called ants like little ants that you stomp or little ants that you know bite your legs they're, they're negative so automatic negative thoughts are called ants and so many times when certain things in our life happen around us what it does is it triggers us because subconsciously we've linked that event or that outburst or whatever that thing in real life happened it's when we were younger we developed an automatic response to that and so as you get older you don't realize consciously that those things are your triggers but here's the thing you can change your brain you can retrain your brain you can train your thoughts you can train your mind and this is a skill called triggering your trigger or turning your trigger into a trigger and um so yeah so just try it out next time you know you you establish and you realize that you're anxious or you're afraid or you're just in a negative place in your mind let those feelings be a, a trigger for you to say okay I'm negative, so this is going to be a trigger for me to start practicing gratitude and immediately start, you know, thanking God for, for the good things in your life or just start writing down a list of things you're thankful for because usually what will happen is if you continue to do that over time, your brain develops this ditch or this, this automatic response of like, okay, we're kind of going down, but then the ditch turns and it flows into a state of positivity. So I know that's a lot. It's kind of deep. Um, it is what it is, man. I talk a lot. Y'all deal with it. Peace.